show the step-by-step -step mechanism for the dehydration of 1-butanol to 1-butene. This is the E2 mechanism. So this is the scheme. CH3, CH2, CH, H, C, H, H, O, H. This is a dehydration reaction, so you need phosphoric acid or sulfuric acid. H3PO4. Heat. So dehydration, you produce water and H2O, and you also produce the alkene CH3, CH2. CH double bond CH2. What happens is you lose that OH on your al alpha carbon and you lose that H on your beta carbon and you produce H2O. All right, step one. Step one is the protonation of the oxygen on your alcohol. CH3, CH2. C H H C H H O H Phosphoric acid is an acid of course so it dissociates into H plus and H two PO four minus. Okay, so one of the load pairs on the oxygen grabs an H plus is what you get. CH3, CH2, CH, H, C. Now you have two H's attached to, or you now have two H's attached to the oxygen H, and you still have that lone pair. And now you have a plus charge on the oxygen, because neutral oxygen is six around that molecule you have 5. 6 minus 5 is plus 1. And of course you still have H2PO4 minus. Next, step 2. So the, the reactant in step 2 is the product in step 1. CH2, CHH, CHH, O H H lone pair positive charge and you have your H two P O four H two P O four negative. Alright, so we have a positive charge on oxygen, so oxygen is very electronegative, it doesn't want to be positively charged. Even though H two P O four is not a very strong base, it is strong enough to remove that H off of your beta carbon. So while H2PO4 is abstracting, that bond between the carbon and the H goes between those two carbons, the alpha and the beta carbons, and you form H3PO4, and now you have your alkene CH3. No, no, no. This is a, uh, this is, yeah, this is the E2 mechanism. CH3, CH2, CH, H, oh, just one H there, and then double bond CH2. So the mechanism is E2 because this here is the slow step. And the slow step involves two species the H2PO4 minus and the this here. One, two, two species, so therefore E2 elimination by molecular slow step.